Hi, I'm Dr. Rob Scranton here at the Scranton Clinic, and in this video, we're going to go over a few instructions on how to perform a procedure using the pilot diode laser. Let's say that Jim suffers from chronic patellar tendonitis in his right knee. Jim complains that the pain from his tendonitis is centered right here at the base of his kneecap. On your laser, make sure you have all of your settings where you want them to be. To help figure dosage, we've put together some suggested guidelines for treatment dosage and time for several conditions. You can find these suggested guidelines at pilotlaser.com. For this procedure, I have chosen to use 6.2 watts on continuous mode for a period of five minutes. It's important that you don't give a dosage that is too low or the laser won't stimulate the injured tissues. If the dosage is too high, you might inhibit the healing or even cause tissue damage. Now at this point, remember that before you use the laser, make sure you've posted the laser sign in the appropriate place and that everyone in the room is wearing protective laser glasses. To effectively treat Jim's tendonitis, you'll want to run the laser over the spot where pain originates, but also around that area, spreading the energy over an area roughly the size of a standard playing card. When you're assessing the area to be treated, it is important to factor in at least one playing card width around the margin of the pain. You'll want to communicate with your patient to find out if the laser is uncomfortable or if he or she is feeling a soothing, warm feeling. If it is uncomfortable, you want to either move faster or lower the wattage. Often the patient will notice that the treatment area feels warm while the laser is in use, and many patients will notice a difference in pain reduction as soon as they get up from the procedure. There are a few factors that will require you to change the level of wattage and the amount of time you apply the laser to the treatment area. For example, with darker skin pigments, tattoos, hair, or moles, you'll need to lower the wattage, use the larger handpiece, or even hold the laser a little above the skin like this. Additionally, the thickness of fatty tissues under our skin can interfere with the effectiveness of the treatment. In those cases, you'll have to make adjustments, such as adjusting the wattage to a higher level or moving more slowly over those areas. Now you're ready to start using the pilot laser in your practice. Don't forget to download the suggested instructions for dosage and time at pilotlaser.com. Thanks for watching.